Germany, Japan. Two extremely well-developed countries which in some regards are very similar, but in other regards couldn't be any more different. In this video we will compare them and then ask you which one you would rather live in and which one you would just visit. Hey guys, welcome back to the Geography Bible, I'm Sam, your narrator for the video. In this video, we'll be comparing two of the most well-respected nations on Earth. They have booming economies, fantastic quality of life, and serious technological and automotive advancements. They are the kings of building cars. We will compare their key demographics, their geography, their economies, quality of life, and of course, we will throw in some fascinating facts along the way. So we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. So sit back, relax, and we hope you learn something new. So let's begin by taking a look at their geographical locations on Earth. Germany is a Western European country with a landscape of forests, rivers, mountain ranges, and North Sea beaches. Its capital city is Berlin with a population of just under 4 million, which is seemingly very low in my opinion. Japan is an island country in Eastern Asia, located in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. It is bordered on the west by the Sea of Japan and extends towards the East China Sea and Taiwan in the south. Tokyo is its capital and largest city with an urban population of over 37 million, which is roughly the same as the entirety of Canada. Okay, so now let's dive into some key demographical statistics, starting off with their populations. With around 126.5 million people, Japan is the 11th most populated nation on Earth, putting them behind Mexico and above Ethiopia. Japan's population is actually decreasing at around 0.3% per year, making them the only country in the top 20 most populated whose population is actually decreasing. This is due to an aging population and younger residents focusing on careers as opposed to raising a family. Japan is the sixth most populated country on the Asian continent. With just under 84 million people, Germany is the 19th most populated country in the world, behind Iran and above Thailand. Germany's population is doing the opposite of Japan's, it is growing at just over 0.3% per year. Excluding Turkey, who technically is in both Europe and Asia, Germany is the most populated nation on the continent, with around 15 million people more than second place, the United Kingdom. Alright, so now that we know their population, let's take a look at their population density. I think we can all agree the lower here, the better. I mean, who would prefer to live in a crowded, congested place? So with around 230 people per kilometre squared, Germany is more sparsely populated than our friends Japan, who have roughly 334 people per kilometre squared. However, Tokyo is a little bit different, with a mind-boggling 6,158 people per kilometre squared. Now, if you thought Tokyo was densely populated, then think again. Try Manila in the Philippines, who have a seriously astonishing over 46,000 people per kilometre squared, making them the most densely populated city on Earth. Alright, so now let's take a look at the average life expectancy of a resident in these two countries. So, to my surprise, Germany is actually a lot lower than I anticipated. For a well-developed, wealthy nation, I'm surprised that they only came in 27th place, with an average life expectancy of around 82 years. And for men, it's actually under 80 years. After a bit of research, it appears Germany has high levels of cancer and cardiovascular disease due to high levels of obesity, smoking rates, and alcohol consumption. On the other hand, the Japanese could not be any more different. They rank as the second highest country in the world for life expectancy at a seriously impressive 85 years and actually over 88 years for women. Only Hong Kong have a higher life expectancy rate. And finally, to end this section, let's take a look at the average age of the population. Now this one is seriously close. At 47.8 and 48.6, Germany and Japan have the 4th and 2nd highest average age in the world, respectively. The country with the youngest average age in the world is Niger, with an absolutely unbelievable 14.8 years. Wow! Okay, so now let's move on to their geography. Although these two countries are shaped nothing like each other, 
they are actually very similar in total land size. So now let's jump over to our favorite website on the internet, the true size of .com. This allows us to compare the sizes of countries side by side with each other, with their actual sizes. So when you look at a country on a two-dimensional map, most countries are disproportionately displayed. So at roughly 357,000 kilometers squared, Germany is ever so slightly smaller than Japan at 378,000 kilometers squared, making them the 63rd and 62nd largest countries in the world, respectively. But as we can see, they are shaped completely different. Germany is more circular and Japan is super narrow and long. So although they look nothing like each other, their actual land size is relatively similar. At 68.5%, Japan has by far more of its land covered in forests than Germany at just under 32%. And it's absolutely no surprise that Japan has by far more coastline than Germany. As an island nation, this comes to no surprise. Excluding Germany's north, it is a landlocked country in every other direction and is actually land bordered by, believe it or not, nine other countries only fewer than China, Russia and Brazil. This helps to make Germany super accessible by road, especially for all those cars they are exporting. In most of Germany, the climate is moderately continental, characterized by cold winters with average daily temperatures around 0 degrees or 32 degrees Fahrenheit or slightly above, and warm summers with maximum temperatures of around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius, which is roughly 75 degrees Fahrenheit in July and August. The average annual humidity is 71.6%. However, the climate of Japan is very cold in the north, temperate in the central regions and almost tropical on the small southern islands. As we mentioned earlier, Japan is super long, so they have so many different climates across their country. The rains are abundant almost everywhere, and between summer and autumn, the country is hit by torrential rains and typhoons. Temperatures in Japan range from anywhere from 2 to 32 degrees Celsius, and as it's such a long country, it's hard to give an exact average. The average annual relative humidity is 63.7%. In my opinion, Germany takes the win here. Germany does not get the torrential rain and typhoons that Japan experiences on a yearly basis. Alright, so now let's move on to some financial and economic statistics. This is a section where both of these countries seriously excel. Let's start off by looking at their total GDP. So with an economy of over 4.3 trillion US dollars, Germany has the fourth largest GDP on the planet, putting them above the UK and below, you guessed it, Japan. So Japan has a GDP of around 5.4 trillion US dollars, making them the third largest in the world, only behind China and the US. Now let's take a look at their total GDP per capita. So Germany actually wins this one with around 52,000 US dollars, putting them 15th in the world behind Austria and above Belgium. And then in 23rd place, we have Japan with roughly 43,000 US dollars, putting them above the UAE and below France. Okay, so now let's take a look at the overall cost of living index. This takes into account things like local purchasing power, restaurant prices, grocery prices and cost of living while taking income and rent prices into account. This algorithm essentially allows us to see how expensive a country is to live in. So with a score of 70.6, Germany ranks as the 29th most expensive country to live in behind the UK and above Canada. On the other hand, Japan is a bit more expensive, ranking as the 7th most expensive country in the world behind Luxembourg and above Israel. Of course, when it comes to automotive manufacturing, these two countries are the best in the world. Japan has Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Suzuki, Mazda, Mitsubishi and many many more. Germany has BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen and many more. Which do you prefer? I certainly am a German car guy. So it comes to no surprise that in 2019, Germany topped the rankings for the highest revenue in car exports at over $142 billion. And then in second place, Japan with just under $100 billion. Speaking of crazy wealth, let's take a quick look at how many billionaires these two countries have. 
So Germany takes the clear win here, with approximately 136 billionaires, ranking them as the fourth highest in the world. In comparison, Japan actually has 49 billionaires, putting them in 11th place. Okay, and now to end the video, the final section, let's take a look at some quality of living statistics and facts. Starting off with the happiness index. The higher you rank here, the higher levels of happiness your residents generally have. So Germany sits in a respectable 17th place, behind Ireland and above the United States. Japan, however, not so happy, ranking as the 62nd happiest country in the world, behind South Korea and above Peru. I can almost guarantee that this comes down to the work till you die culture that you'll see in both South Korea and Japan, which has led to huge amounts of depression and anxiety and suicide rates across the country, especially in young working males. Next, let's take a look at the Global Peace Index, to which Japan takes the clear win here, in ninth place behind Slovenia and above Switzerland. Germany, however, sits in 22nd place below Hungary and above Slovakia. And for the Global Corruption Index, Germany sits in 12th place and Japan in 18th place. So, so far, some pretty respectable statistics, although not super impressive or mind-blowing. At the end of the day, they are superpowers with giant economies. This level of strength and wealth usually comes with some sort of political instability. Now Japan wipes the floor with Germany in these next two statistics. That's obesity rates and percentage of the population below the poverty line. With just 4.3% of the adult population being classed as obese, Japan has the seventh lowest obesity rates in the world. However, roughly 22% of German adults are classed as obese. The Eastern diet versus the Western diet can clearly be observed here. Remarkably, just 1.4% of Japan's population are below the poverty line, compared to Germany's just under 17%. And finally, to end the video, let's take a look at which country ranks higher for their military strength. So Germany sits in 15th place behind Iran and above Indonesia. And Japan takes the win in 5th place behind India and above their friends South Korea. So, now it's your turn. Which country would you rather live in and which one would you rather visit? Let us know below. And while you're there, let us know which cities or countries we should do next. I think I would personally prefer to live in Germany because as a Westerner, the culture and the way of life is more similar and it is closer to home for me. Then I would happily visit Japan, hopefully as soon as possible. It is a dream destination for me. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be much appreciated. And if you love this sort of content, consider subscribing. It's completely free. Let us know in the comments section below where you're from and where your dream destination is. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.